Well, guess what we're gonna do today? We're doing an experiment with this here laser. And guess what we're doing it on? That's right, hot dogs. Good American hot dogs. Why not? Step one, let's put down a spool sheet. Step two, draw us a rectangle. And just gonna eyeball it, close to size. Mm, probably not right, but you know what? Hey, it'll work, close enough. And place it in place. Now let's frame it, make sure it fits where we want it. Oh yeah, that'll be perfect. Da -da -da -da. Now we know exactly where the wiener's at. To an extent. I made it a little big, the box, but you know what? It gets us close enough. Next, let's put this on a hidden layer. Let's grab our line tool and let's just draw a line. Yeah, should do it right there. So I don't know any idea what parameters we're gonna start with, but we're just gonna pick one right now. So let's just see what happens if we drop this down to let's just say 15%. Next, let's focus this laser. For those of you who don't know, these lasers operate off a focus beam. So you must have it at the right height in order to get the best cut on this thing. And, you know, we just want to see what this thing will do. Will it actually cut? Mm, we'll know in a minute. So, I'm going to bring this thing just up to where I can get this little baby right underneath there. And let's try it. Let's roll. Oh, not even a mark, folks. Not even a mark. All right, it's not failed. Let's adjust and try again. All right, here we go. 5,000 millimeters a minute at 15% power. Let's crank this baby up. We're gonna go to, let's try 50% and let's see what we get then. Really? Come on now. All right, we're going 100% at 5,000. And let's just see what happens. Probably not much, I'm not expecting it, but who knows. There it is, folks, straight from the horse's mouth. Nothing. Wow, we got a little success. Look at there, folks. We have some cuttage. But not that much, really. So that's 500 millimeters a minute and 100% power on a 36-watt diode. But we're not gonna stop there. Let's go down to 50 and see what'll happen. Really cooking a hot dog now, boys and girls. Yep. Mm. You can only smell it. It's quite rank, to be honest. Flame detection, first time for that. There it is, folks. I mean, you know, you can try it. So we're still not through it all the way yet, and I wanna see exactly what it's gonna to take to get through it. So now we're gonna bump down the speed a little bit more, which at this point, we're down to 50 millimeters a minute, so we're gonna bump it down to 45. And let's see if that's enough.
was still a fail. So now we're gonna move on down to 40. Maybe this time we'll get it. But you know, out of all the things I've cut, hot dogs is the only one that's giving me a flame detection. thing about this is you can actually see the beam a lot better on the camera than you can in person. So close. Still not through it yet. down some more. Oh, so, so close. All right, I think we're finally almost there. So now we bump it down to a whopping 30 millimeters a second. Excuse me, 30 millimeters a minute. Let's see what happens now. see still didn't burn all the way through it came really close but we're getting flame detections so unless you're literally holding your finger underneath there with this thing running super slow you're definitely not going to cut a finger off granted this is a hot dog it actually doesn't have any bone or any kind of ligaments or anything like that so this should cut easier and i had to get it all the way down to 35 millimeters a minute at a whopping 100 percent power on this 36 watt diode laser just to get it to mostly cut through now granted you could still easily get burned at any setting i'm sure but for the most part pretty safe and uh next that's right chicken bologna what can this dio laser do to this bologna 